The bootloader, Grub or Lilo in Linux is the first step in system startup. Common commands include edit to modify boot parameters and boot to start the system. Kernel options like single for single user mode or no mode set can troubleshoot or modify boot behavior offering control over the boot process. Boot initiation begins with BIOS UEFI, which checks hardware and selects the boot device. The bootloader then presents the kernel passing control. The kernel initializes hardware and mounts the root file system, transitioning to the init system for process management, leading to a login prompt or desktop environment. Sysfini, the traditional init system, uses scripts executed in sequence to start services. Systemed, modern and feature-rich, employs units to parallelize service startup, enhancing boot speed and system management. Systems system skill command manages services and system states, marking a significant evolution in system initialization. Upstart, an event-driven init system, once bridged the gap between sysfinit and systemed. By reacting to events, it offered flexible and dynamic service management. Though superseded by systemed in many distributions, understanding Upstart's design and event-based model provides insight into init system evolution. Log files are vital for diagnosing boot issues. Systems Journal CDL allows reviewing boot logs, pinpointing services start times and errors. Traditional log files like var log boot log or dmsg offer historical data on kernel messages and service statuses, essential for troubleshooting. Mastering the Linux boot process from initial BIOS UEFI checks to the final init system ensures system reliability and performance. Whether managing services with systemed or analyzing boot logs, these skills are crucial for any Linux administrator.